Where God leads, he will provide. Where God leads, he will provide. This is a prophetic word. A prophetic word from the Lord. He just quickened my spirit with it this morning. Where God leads, he will provide. Yeah. If you have a burning desire on the inside of you and you can't shake it, if it's something that's been in your heart very heavily for a long time now and you just can't get it out of your mind, that's a desire of God. A desire that God has placed on the inside of you. Yeah. It's a desire that God has placed on the inside of you. And I just give him the praise, honor, and the glory. Father, give your people an ear to hear and a heart to receive this word, whoever is for, Father. Anything that's not of you. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus, Father. And send it to the pits of hell by your judgment fire that you burn down every evil altar and wickedness, Father. Yes, Lord, Father. Let it fall on good ground, Father, this word. And decrease me, increase you and me. Welcome the Holy Spirit to fill this place. Yeah, welcome the Holy Spirit to fill this place. So like I was saying, y'all, where God leads, he will provide. If, if it's something that's been in your heart very heavily for a long time now, and you just can't seem to shake it, you can't seem to get it out of your mind, it don't matter, you know, how hard you try. It doesn't matter how hard you try to replace it with something else. You know, trying to do something else that you desire to do. You know, <laughs> you can't shake it. You can't stop thinking about it. It's a burning desire. It's something that you just have to have. It's something that you have to do. It's something that you have to complete. You know, it's like an addiction. It's like a. It's like just an addiction. You know, you just have to do it. You know, you can't stop thinking about it. That's because it's not something that you're doing. It's something that God has placed on the inside of you. It's a desire that he wants you to do something for his kingdom you know for for his kingdom here on earth yeah it's his his heart's desires you know how i say people who've listened to me before how i say that i always pray and ask god to give me um um the desire like david had in acts what is it what i said that was x um oh shoot i forgot 1822 i think that god said david was a man after his own heart I think that's right. But he said David was a man after his own heart. Yeah. And he would do anything that God asked him to do. Yeah. So I pray for those desires. I was like, Lord, if it's a de- I want everything that I do, Lord, to be a desire of you and a blessing to others. Yeah. A desire of you and a blessing to others. So if that burning desire on the inside of you is a desire of God, it's something that you just can't shake. You can't replace it with something else. You can't just move on and say, oh, you know what? I'm just not even going to worry about it. Forget it. I'm going to just move on and find something else to do. Another little um, another little thing to do. Some other type of hobby. Some other um, invention. Some other um, job. You know, open up some other business. Um, open up some other ministry. Do another type of teaching. No, you can't shake it. It's a desire of God. Yeah, he placed it on the inside of you. That's his desire. You know, and it's not just something that's going to benefit you. It's something to help his children. It's something to advance the kingdom here on earth. Oh, yeah. And I just love God for that. And he's he's just awesome. He's amazing. He's a wonderful God. And so, be, um, you know, that's why you have to just pray and ask God to keep you in his will. Keep you in the will of God. Yeah, keep you in the will of God. Because if I know you may be thinking like this desire that God has placed on the inside of me, he placed it on the inside of me, but it's big, it's big. I don't even see how, you know, how I'm going to come up with the finances. How am I going to come up with the finances so this can come to pass? That's because it's not for you to come up with the finances. It's something that God has placed on the inside of you. So he will financially take care of it he will provide for it financially he will make a way out of no way he will bless you he will have wealth from the um the wicked stored up for the righteous you know he will bless you with everything that you need to get the task done whatever it is that he called you to do he will make a way so don't get discouraged and, and this it's not going to happen like when you want it's going to happen in his timing because his timing is a perfect timing 
it's going to happen when his and his season and timing under the sun, you know? Yeah. That's because God will provide. So you got to be faithful. Be faithful and continue to do what it is that God has called you to do. Yeah, be faithful. Don't stop. It's not just something that you're thinking about. No, because if it was, you would be able to shake that thought. You would be able to replace that thought with something else. But it's not. It just keeps lingering around. It keeps sitting in your heart. You know, it just keeps impressing in your heart. And you just can't stop thinking about it. It's like every day you wake up, it's always on your mind. You could think about something else, and you may be doing something else throughout the day, and it's going to resonate. It's going to just pop back in your mind. And you're going to be like, oh, my God, I wouldn't. Lord, I'm thinking about it again. You know, that's because it's a desire of God. It's something that God desires, and he wants you to do. So you got to be faithful and continue doing what it is that God has called you to do. Yeah, because where God leads you, he will provide. That's the title of this. Where God leads you, he will provide. This is a prophetic word, y'all. This is a prophetic word. I, I sent a text message to a sister, a sister in Christ today. She's a family member as well. And she's a woman of God as well. I sent her a text message and I told her to come into agreement with me, you know, that God provide for um for this desire, you know, for something that he's placed in my spirit to do that I'm doing, the call that he has on my life. And then she said, yeah, well, God, God will provide. Well, he leads you here, provide. And I was like, that's confirmation. That's the exact same thing I said to God one day. You know, I, I told God, Lord, you led me to this. You called me to this. This is nothing that I desired to do. You called me for this. I said, so you're going to provide. You're going to make a way. I know you're going to make a way out of nowhere. I said, because you called me for this. This is not nothing that I desired to do. And so she was like, yeah. And I, was, and I sent her a message back telling her, oh, this is confirmation. It's confirmation. So that's why I, I'm doing this message right now. Because the Holy Spirit said, send this message. This is what I want you to minister on today. This is a ministry. This is what I want you to minister on today, Janelle. And so I was like, okay, Lord. So I hurried up and I made a YouTube video. Now I'm doing a podcast. So where God leads you, he will provide. Where God leads you, he will provide. Yeah. Isaiah 58, 11, NIV. The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your fame, your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose water never fails. Yeah, because God will provide, y'all. That's a scripture. But God will provide. He'll make a way out of no way, even when you don't think there's a way, even if you think it's too big, because that's what God does. He, he don't give us little things. Like, we might think small. We don't think like God. We don't see like God. We don't move like God, you know? The way God does things is different from the way we do it. His ways are not our ways, you know? His timing is not our timing. We see stuff, we might say, oh, I want this this little building, I want this little church, I want this little ministry, I want this little business, I want, you know, it don't have to be much, I just want this. No, God wants something big, abundant, and overflowing for us. He has great and mighty things and work, and, you know, and working in store for us, for our lives. And so his ways are not our ways. So you can't think small. You got to think outside the box because God is not a box person. You can't box. You can't limit God. He has no limitations. You can't set, um, put him in a box because you can't put a cap on him because he goes above and beyond what we even think or imagine, you know? Yeah. His desires are not our desires. They are greater. You know, he sees things in us that we don't even know are in us, you know? That's how much he just loves us and trusts us that he want to do do for us. Because if he see that we're trying to seek him and, and, and fall on our face and cry out to him and sacrifice to him and, and be o- obedient to him. Because, you know, obedience is better than sacrifice. So you being obedient and doing what he told you to do, whatever the calling is that he has on your life, ministry, whatever it is. If you being obedient and doing what God said and do, he will bless you. He will make a way out of no way. He will make it, um, he will touch it and make it be blessed. He will anoint it, you know. It will be blessed. He will provide. He will send you provision. Oh, he will open up the storehouse <laughs> and pour out blessings that you can't contain. That's the God we serve. Yeah, that's the, the God we serve. And so you just have to believe. And don't don't shake whatever it is that God has placed in you. You could be a mechanic. You could be a hairdresser. You could be a barber. You can be a minister. I mean, you know, a, um, a teacher or whatever, whatever it may be. 
that God has placed on the inside of you is a burning desire that you cannot shake. You keep saying, oh, I want a business. I want a business. I'm going to get a business. And you've been saying that for years. and You haven't received it yet. That's because that's what God has placed on the inside of you. Because that business is not going to be just for you. It's going to be so you can earn, you know, and get, you know, earn money and God will be blessing your barns. But you will be a blessing to others because you're helping others. You know, you're not just doing it for you. It's going to be a blessing for others as well. And so God, if he has placed a desire on the inside of you, if you have a burning desire on the inside of you and you can't shake it, that's not, it's nothing that you're doing. That's nothing that you're thinking of that you want to get done. That's a desire from God. That's why you can't shake it. <laughs> that's why you can't shake it. Oh, yeah. So, where God leads, he will provide. Where God leads, he will provide. So, if he brought you to it, he will see you through it. He will make a way out of no way. He will bless you abundant and overflowing. Yeah, he will provide. So, I just had to give this word. This is a prophetic word. This is a prophetic word. And I pray whoever is for that you receive it in your spirit. Pray and thank the Lord in advance. Thank him in advance. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. So if you um if you've been sinning and you want to know Christ, or if you're if you're a person in church, you know, you go to church, you're a woman or a man of God, and you straddling the fence, you know, you done you done backslid and you want to rededicate your life to Christ. I'll say the prayer of salvation and you can repeat it after me. Dear Lord Jesus. I ask for you to forgive me of my sins, known, unknown, thought, deed, and word. I believe you died and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and into my life. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. So if you've done that, welcome, welcome to the family. So now you need to go to a, a, um, you know, a faith-based Bible reading church that's full of the Holy Spirit so you can get baptized, so you can get baptized, get fully submerged under the water. So when you go under that water, the old way of thinking, living, acting, and being. That old man will die up under that water. And when you raise up, you'll be a new creation in Christ. Yeah, old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Hallelujah. Yeah, and also, I'm going to read Romans 10, chapter 13, verse NIV. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And also, Romans 10, chapter 9, verse NIV. That was Romans 10, chapter 13, verse I just read. Now I'm going to read Romans 10, chapter 19, verse NIV. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And also, Acts second chapter, 38 through 39 verses, NASB. Peter replied, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is for you and your children, and for all who are far off, for all whom the Lord our God will call. Yeah. So, also read about testing the spirit because if anybody tell you Jesus didn't come in flesh, that's not true. He came in flesh. The Holy Spirit placed the seed in Mary because she was a virgin. She gave birth to him in a manger. He walked the earth. You know, he made disciples of men, fishers of men. He drew others of Christ so they could spread the gospel as well. So Jesus did come in flesh. Read 1 John 4th chapter 1 through 6 verses ESV. And also read about the spirit of divination, the spirits, you know, witchcraft and all other stuff, satanic rituals and stuff. So the spirit of divination. Acts 16, chapter 16 through 18, verses NASB. If you have any prayer requests, I'll put up my Gmail link and I can pray for you in my prayer language so the Holy Spirit can intercede on your behalf. I also have a ministry channel, Ambassador for Christ, that the Lord has placed me over and I give him the praise and the glory because <laughs> that's not something that I desire to do on my own. That's something he placed in my spirit to do. That's what I'm saying. When God lead you, he will provide. Yeah. So I have a ministry channel. Please click like, 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 share, 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 and subscribe to the ministry channel, Ambassador for Christ, so we can spread this gospel on to many. And if you like it, share it and subscribe. You know, the likes help the algorithm with YouTube so they can share my video more. And also, if you need to know more about me, you can click the about section and you can read more about me and why I love the Lord so much, why I share his word, where he's delivered me from and brought me from. And I just give him the praise and the glory for his goodness. So click the about section on the YouTube channel. And until the Lord quickens my spirit to upload something else, many blessings to you and your families. May the Lord bless you, keep you, make his face shine upon you, and give you peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening to Janelle's podcast, Ambassador for Christ. Blessings, blessings, blessings to all.